keep your focus on God, you're going to keep the statutes, the ordinances of God. And you're going to walk faithfully like David did. Now, David had some terrible things happen in his life. But he repented. His clay got redone. And he became, according to the book of Acts, a man after God's own heart. That's how you want to be known. That's how I want to be known. I want to be known as a man after God's own heart. Amen. That's where all of you need to be. Man, woman, young person, you want to be an individual after God's own heart. It goes on to say in verse 19, but if you turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I said before you, and you shall go and serve other gods and worship them. In other words, you'll connect to the culture. He says, and I'll uproot you from my land, which I've given you. And the house which I, this house which I've consecrated consecrated for my name, I will cast out of my sight, and I will make it a proverb and a byword among the peoples. As for this house which was exalted, everyone who passes by will be astonished to say, why has the Lord done this thing to this land and this house? And they will say, because they forsook the Lord their God and their fathers who brought them from the land of Egypt, and they adopted other gods and worshipped them and served them, and therefore he has brought all this to the Adversity on them. You know, we can do the same old thing, the same old way, and what do you get? You get the same old results. They've always said that. That's very true. So if you want to hold on to a little, a little wickedness, you don't want to walk in humility, and you just want to seek a space for your church, guess what? We'll become the people that God will root out from this land. He'll take away this house. He'll take his eyes, his ears, and his heart from it. And he'll forsake it. So I want to know that you want to be the people who finish well. Do you want to be the people who focus on the Lord always? Because if you don't, and I know we're going to be forsaken by God. Mill Creek Baptist Church will become a byword. It literally will become destroyed. Or get another use. I don't know if I've told you this before, but I got to go on a mission trip to, to Wales. Out of Wales came a great, great revival that even touched America. But they took their focus on God off of God. They let the culture change them instead of them changing the culture. And so when we were touring some of the city, we went into this old church. Now this old church had a pulpit, pulpit like this one. And then you took stairs and went up to a higher one. The announcements were made here, Jim. And then in the higher pulpit is where the Word of God was preached. From the pulpit, when we in this old church, it had been turned into a store. From that podium where the, where the message was preached from, there was a banner of Merlin the Magician hanging from it. See, that church had become a Bible. God had taken his hand off of it. What would God do with this church if we don't finish well and keep our focus on him? He'll forsake this church. And we'll be uprooted. Don't know where we'll wind up. But we will be uprooted if we don't keep God first in everything. Finish well and stay focused. Or we'll be forsaken. If I have to stand here by myself one day, I'll praise to the pews. Because I'm going to keep my focus on Him. And I'm going to finish well. That's all I know to do with my life because of all of what He has done for me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I do pray that You would bless America again. I do ask that we recognize that the cross of Calvary, that old cross, is our statue 
of liberty. This country has not given us anything close to what you've given us, God, because you've given us salvation. We thank you for that. So may we be crazy and freakish about the depth of your love for us by finishing well, keeping our focus on you so we don't become the forsaken God. We need you so much to fill our minds with thoughts of God, fill our hearts with the things of God, and take our feet that we can carry the message of God. God, we need you desperately. Change all of us with this message, Lord, so that we finish well and our focus is on you. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.